Apple's new iPhone 14 series has the same design and overall dimensions as the 2021 series. So, this shouldn't come as a surprise, but the battery capacities are roughly the same too. There are minor differences, though probably not enough to have a measurable impact on battery life. What's different this year is that there are now two models with a large battery, the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the cheaper iPhone 14 Plus. Their batteries are a tiny bit smaller than the 13 Pro Max battery, but again, it is a negligible difference. The batteries of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro are slightly bigger, but only by a few percent. Like last year, the vanilla model has a bigger battery than the Pro, but this year they have different chipsets too, and different screens of course. So it will be interesting to compare their battery lives. Apple claims that the Plus has the best battery life out of any iPhone so far. Also, the Pro models retain their all-day battery life promise despite the new always-on display function. As for charging, Apple didn't announce official numbers, but regulatory filings suggest that nothing has changed. The 3C list 29 was for one of the models, which should be practically the same as the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is unofficially rated at 27 watts. Also, Apple never advertises the amount of RAM in phones, but the latest Xcode 14 beta confirmed that all iPhone 14 models get 6GB RAM. This marks the first time since the iPhone 11 series that all new models get the same amount of RAM. Previous rumors suggested that the iPhone 14 Pro series would bring faster LPDDR5 RAM, while the regular 14 models would stick to LPDDR4X RAM, though we don't get any confirmation on this from the new Xcode report. Guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, stay on the channel with us, bye everyone!